What's up y'all? Today I'm gonna teach you how to do the 313 behind the boat. Before we get this video started, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Hyperlite Wakeboard Centurion Boats and Jet Pilot Life Jackets. Also, before attempting this trick, you probably already want to know how to do a heel side, front side, 360, and a Rayleigh. I do have a tutorial for both of these tricks on my channel already, so feel free to go check them out. Another thing that could be pretty helpful to learn would be taking that front side 360 and learning how to blast them out into the flats. The approach you're going to want to take for this trick would probably be getting about as wide as you possibly can away from the boat, then progress aggressively getting on to a pretty aggressive edge. Now that you're on that aggressive edge in towards the wakes, you're going to want to make sure those elbows are really locked in and make sure you're edging all the way through and up through the very top of the wake. As you're edging up through the top of the wake, this will be exactly like a Rayleigh. Really let those feet start to drift out behind you. Make sure you have a good tension on that handle to where you're capable of pulling it back below you. Make sure you start off in a Rayleigh. You don't want to start drifting off into a crypt or anything super early. That will make it really hard to do the 360. So just make sure you take off the wake exactly like you would on your normal Rayleigh. The reason why I really emphasize on doing a normal Rayleigh rather than stargazing off into a crypt off the wake is just because if you do do a normal Rayleigh, you'll have a much more solid tension rather than when you do a crypt, that handle can really get away from you and your board can really drift out really far behind you and then it's almost impossible to get the handle pass. Now that you've started your railing, your board starting to drift out behind you, once you're at the peak of your jump, this is when you're gonna to wanna to start the rotation of your spin. Once you hit the peak, you're gonna to wanna to take this handle and pull it over to your rear hip. You're really gonna to wanna to give it a solid rip to start the rotation of your front side 360. Now that you've initiated your front side 360 by ripping this handle down to your rear hip, it'll also sort of pull that railing back down because you are pulling that tension down to a lower point of your body. So this will bring the Rayleigh back down along with starting your front side 360. And now that you have ripped it to your rear hip, it will feel very similar to a front side 360 into the flats from here on out. Just make sure you drop that front hand, keep pulling this handle to your lower back. Make sure you really look for it with your front hand. Again, pass it right into that hand. Finish up the rotation spot you're landing below. Just bend your knees on impact and ride away on your heels. I know most of you guys probably don't want to try this trick just because the consequences are pretty high, but I personally think that this trick is extremely easy. The only thing it takes is really a solid set of balls just because it's so scary but I think this trick is definitely worth giving it a try. One mistake that I think is probably pretty common would be just warming up with crips. I think that maybe just avoid doing crips in general when learning this trick. Just do a Rayleigh and then go straight to the front side 360. I think the crypt will sort of form bad habits and just isn't really good. So just start with a Rayleigh and then go for it. I'm just gonna give you a quick little summary of the entire trick. You're gonna wanna start as far away from the boat as possible, nice and wide. Take a nice progressive, aggressive edge in towards the wakes. Make sure you edge all the way through the very top of the wake and take off just like you would during a normal Rayleigh. As you reach the peak of your jump, you're gonna to wanna to rip that handle towards your rear hip to initiate that front side 360 rotation. Make sure you take that front hand, reach around, find the handle. Make sure you grab it right there, have a nice handle pass. Finish up your rotation, spot your landing below, bend your knees on impact, and just ride right away on your heels. That's how you do the 313. If you guys like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below on what kind of videos you guys wanna see in the future or what kind of tricks you guys wanna learn next. And remember, I'll be uploading a wakeboarding video every second day forever. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.